Hello everybody, welcome back to Life Stories. My name is Trent, it's good to be back, and I hope you guys are all staying safe. I'm feeling good, I'm back on schedule, and as such, I got more stories coming at you from Reddit slash Entitled Parents. So, without further ado, let's get started. Our first story is titled, Pizza Man Has to Deal with Two Crazy People on Two Deliveries. So, here I am, again, on Reddit, with two new stories of people who think that just because I work in food services, they can yell at me. Also, they both call the store to get free food and or yell about me. Some important context. So, in a previous post, I've been open that I work at a certain pizza chain. Well, due to COVID-19, this chain has placed a new policy to protect people and their workers. The policy is that all delivery orders are now contactless. As well, drivers are required to wear a face mask. How a contactless delivery is done is with the use of a one-use recycle box that's put on the floor. Then, the food is put on top. Since the box is a one-time use box, we aren't allowed to pick it up once it's set on the floor. The delivery driver knocks on the door and stands six feet away from the order. The customer opens and picks up the food as well, and the one-use box, then the delivery driver is allowed to leave. So, that's how all deliveries for this chain are supposed to go right now. Well, yesterday, I had a long shift that drained me emotionally and physically so much that I ended up buying something I'd been wanting for a while, that I was waiting for payday to buy. But I was like, screw that, and bought it. Regardless, back to the story. So, I was working, waiting for a delivery to pop up. Well, lucky me, a delivery did pop up, and I was next to take the delivery. I was happy, since the area was a good one for tips. So I packed the order, grabbed the contactless box, and head my way to the delivery. I arrived, it was an apartment, so the order was not on the first floor. I made my way to the door, and I put the box on the floor, as I put the order on it. This is when the man came out. Let's call him Richard. Uh, thanks, but next time, just give the order to me. I'm sorry, sir, but it's company... I was cut off. I don't give a crap if it's policy. You give it to me. You got that? I'm sorry, sir, but I can't. With that, I had to back down. On a side note, the man was barefoot. Not a big deal, since he was at home, but still. Richard, still screaming, Also, take this with you, referring to the box and pushing the box with his feet. Folks, I'm not allowed to pick up the box once it's down, but I was even less wanting to pick it up now. I'm sorry, sir, but I can't since it's a one-use. Once again, being cut off. Richard, now screaming louder, I don't give a crap. Pick it up. Have a good day, sir, I say. Pick it up! As he picks it up and throws it at me. Lucky for me, the day was windy, and the wind was causing the box to completely miss me. As I leave, the neighbor saw all of that go down, and said she was sorry for me having to deal with him. I told her I've handled worse. Boy, I'd regret saying those words. I came back to the store, and saw there was another order waiting for me. I packed it, grabbed another contactless box, and went to the place. It was another apartment, but it was more of a duplex, with two doors on the sides. So, I did my whole deal setting down the box, then put the order on top. Me, thinking this person would be different, knocked on his door, moved back, and waited for the person to open the door. Not even 10 seconds pass, when the door opened and there was an older lady. She sees me and looks down. Without a beat, she yells. She will be called Karen, as it's quite appropriate for this occasion. Also, she never stops screaming. Why is my food on the floor? Madam, your food is not on the floor. You see, there's a... I get cut off again. Are you blind? Can't you see my food is on the floor? Why is my food on the floor? Well, due to the virus, it's company policy to have contactless orders. No, that is unsanitary. How dare you put my food on the floor? You know what? I'm going to take a picture, and I'm going to call the store. Go ahead. They will tell you the same. By the way, she has small kids in the house, and they see all of this go down. Bring me my damn phone. What's your name? I point to the name tag on my shirt. I can't believe you put my food on the floor. That's the food I was going to feed my grandkids. Now the day is ruined. I don't believe what's going on, but if you are really afraid of this BS, you should be wearing gloves. She puts her phone on speaker, and during this, she takes a pic and calls the store. I stay silent, wishing for death. 
Why did I have two crazy people back to back? P.S. I took a pic of the food, just in case. For reasons. Ah, uh, yes, I want to speak with the manager right now. The manager's name will be Chill Bro, since he is a chill bro. Hello, this is CB. How can I help you? Yes, I just ordered food, and the delivery driver just put my food on the ground. Now he's saying it's company policy. His name is Sax13365, and what is your name? Uh, yes, madam, it's company policy, and my name is Chill Bro. No, that is disgusting! How dare you people put food on the ground? You know what? I'm going to call the Department of Health, and I'm going to report your disgusting company. That food was going to feed my grandkids, and you want me to feed them food that's been on the ground? Shame on you. Sorry, but it's company policy in order for us to operate. I don't believe in that. If he really is afraid, he should wear gloves. Since when was this your policy? Since Monday of last week. That is some BS. I ordered last week, and they gave me the food. No delivery driver would do that, since doing that can be punished with a week of suspension. Well, they did. Uh, so, how can I help you? I want new food and a new delivery driver, because this one is too stupid to understand that food doesn't belong on the floor. Madam, please don't insult my employee, and the other driver will just do the same. No, I demand you fix this, or else. I will cancel and return the money. Have a nice day. He hangs up. You, I want you out, and if you don't, I'm going to call the police. I go to get my only pen, then leave. The lady screams at me that she's going to call the police. I grab the pen, then leave. As I leave, I see that she sort of tripped and pushed the order boxes, and they're now on the floor. She screams at me some more. As I leave, I see three of her neighbors come out to see what's going on. The last thing I see is her talking to the neighbor, and she points at me. When I got to the store, the general manager arrived. I gave him a copy of the pic and was told by the assistant manager that he dealt with her last week. He said that she called and complained about the food being on the floor on that occasion too. He asked what happened to the food on the first run, and he told me that she told him that she threw it away. The assistant manager told her that she will not get free food and hung up. So, it's my belief that she wanted to see if another manager would cave to her demands, but she failed. Lastly, I was told that two people called about the first delivery. The first was the neighbor saying that a guy may call and complain about me, even though I did nothing wrong and I should get a raise for not even reacting to the man yelling at me. The second was good old Richard wanting free food because I left trash at his place and had to throw it. Well, I didn't get a raise, sadly, but Richard didn't get free food either, so that's good. Huh, is that what we're gonna call male Karens now? Richards? I'm okay with that. Moving along, we got time for another, and the next story is titled, Laundry Losers. I love my cat. He is so sweet, except for when he pukes on my bed at 3 in the morning. Unfortunately, my cat chose my comforter as his puking spot, and so my comforter needed washing today. I have a king-size down comforter on my bed, so unfortunately, I'm not able to wash it in my machine at home, so that means off to the laundromat for me. It all started fine. I put my stuff in, started my wash, and then left to wash and put gas in my car. When leaving the house earlier, I had mistakenly grabbed my son's Minecraft face mask instead of my own. No biggie, I'll rock me some creepers. So, I returned to switch my laundry and wait for it to dry in those giant dryers. Figuring it would not be worth going home and coming back, I social distanced myself by standing in the corner. This was my second mistake. My first is assuming people weren't idiots. So, I'm calmly waiting for my comforter to dry while a family of seven walks in. Parents and kids, ranging from about four to ten-ish. The parents are wearing those cheap paper masks, and the kids aren't wearing anything. The kids start climbing on everything while the parents start taking clothes out of the washer. Then, I hear the kids start making a commotion, and I look up to see them pointing at me and talking to the mom. I hear the mom say, well, just ask her where she got it. Suddenly, like the gates at the Kentucky Derby were opened, a wave of small children descended on me in my corner. Little hands began pawing at me and pulling on my arms and shirt while they wailed to see my mask. I was trapped in the corner and couldn't escape. It was like the scene from a horror movie where all those hands are clawing trying to pull the actor into hell. I'm not gonna lie, I screamed like a spider was crawling in my ear, and I shoved them off me. One of the kids fell down and started crying. Now I have entitled mom's attention. 
She storms up to me, and I'm still shaking. She starts screaming at me for hitting her child. Not that she's even checked on the kid, and I didn't do much more than push her off balance. I not so calmly explained that it was not okay for her kids to be touching me, even if there wasn't an active pandemic going on. Entitled Mom says, All they wanted was to see your mask. You should have just given it to them and they wouldn't have touched you. Besides, what business does a grown woman have wearing cartoon characters on her face? Those are for kids anyway. By that time, the laundromat attendant, who was a nicer old lady, came over and asked what the problem was. EM started shouting that I had pushed her child for no reason and that I should be asked to leave. I explained what really happened and the lady asked if I wanted her to call the police. I said no and that I just wanted to get my things and go home and take a shower. There was only a few minutes left on my dryer, so I grabbed my blanket and turned around to put it on the table. When I turned back around to make sure I removed the dryer sheet, the EM shoved me aside so she could stuff her clothes in my now empty dryer. The attendant saw and offered to refund me for the leftover time. I just waved her off and left. I don't have enough tolerance for that ridiculousness. I mean, it doesn't matter if there's a pandemic or not. You wear Minecraft, you're going to attract children. And that's why I stay away. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is all the time we have for today. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of Life Stories. You know the drill. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Reddit content coming your way. And I hope to see you guys soon.